get to see the villain and he's got like these crazy horns and you're like that's the mother yeah. devil that's this drink darkness is going down into me and coming back up i feel like my stomach is a campfire so you right just now. drank tim curry <laughs> i just drank tim curry yeah this is tim curry in liquid form <laughs> um but it's fascinating how you do i <laughs> I see you met my faithful <laughs> god <laughs> So, okay, so Fantastic Four 2 was canceled. Wait. Um, they made a Fantastic Four movie? <laughs> there was a Fantastic Four movie made. It came out in theaters and nobody went and saw it. Brilliantly, by the people at Fox, they've canceled the sequel. You know, what might this mean? Uh, in my opinion, they're going to let the rights fall back to Marvel or they'll make some Sony-esque agreement with Marvel. And uh, that will allow great characters such as Galactus, Doctor Doom, and Silver Surfer to enter the Marvel Universe. By bringing them into the Marvel Universe, they have established canon, and uh, they can get in there and they can start pulling out these characters a lot quicker. Uh, so I think, I think Fantastic Four is headed back to Marvel. Yeah, because I think what everyone's waiting for is a grudge match between Hulk and Thing. Oh, everybody wants that. Everybody right? wants that. And who doesn't want to see Galactus? But Thing needs pants. Because of uh, Thing's Thing. Yeah, the Thing's Thing. There was potential rock penis sightings there. I'm super jealous right now. Justin's got scallops, which are one of my favorite foods. Uh, it's like a meat marshmallow. This one has bacon juice poured all over it. I'm gonna stab him and try to steal some while he's reeling for the pain. Alright, without having to stab him, Justin shared this little bit with me. Uh, I don't know if I've ever gotten a better gift from anybody. I might not be able to eat anything else ever again. This probably ruined all food for me. Are you crying? <laughs> Is that a tear? A scallop tear? I think he's crying! <laughs> Darn good. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. You watch uh, people eating food on these food shows. I feel like they do the same thing. They, they put the food in their mouth, 
They chew it and they go. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> like Yoda? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like Yoda. Like, mm, I got this little stick. Goodness me, this. Uh, that was kind of actually the real impression I wanted to give of this. This meat is super soft, really? super tender. It's from the shoulder of the cow. And uh, <laughs> it was impressive. I'm gonna try this. It's good, spoiler. Alright. I love, I love asparagus. This asparagus is rocking. It's, it's not too soft, it's not too tender. It's just a hint of a crunch to it, but not undercooked. It's just right. That meat is like very good, very tasty. Like I don't want to swallow it. I just kind of want to keep on chewing it. I'm not a food uh, expert by any stretch, but that's freaking good meat. Chef Dalton owns 1808 down the street. It's upscale, but it's like more traditional American bistro foods, like steaks, burgers, that kind of stuff. After a little while, he wanted to do something a little more creative. So he opened Veritas. Uh, this is based on a lot of uh, modernist cooking methods, like sort of a linea in Chicago, um, Grace in Chicago, per se. Uh, really just real modernist dining. He opened a restaurant in 2012. They won Best New Restaurant that year. 2013, they got number one overall in Columbus. In 2014, we got number three, and this year we were back to number one. Drink-wise, we bar a lot of stuff from pre-prohibition style drink. Everything's hand squeezed, it's all fresh. We make all of our own syrups. It's hours and hours and hours of prep time. That wraps it up for this week's Geek and Stein. Veritas has a cool atmosphere, fantastic food, and great drinks. If you're ever in Columbus, Ohio, we highly suggest making the trek up to Delaware and check out Veritas Tavern. Oh, and don't let those bartenders' cool hipster vibe fool you. They're geeks just like us. We'll see you next time on Geekenstein. What's the geekiest thing you're into? I go to OhioCon cosplay. Oh, now we're talking, man.